inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you, cause real women don't bitch, no, real women don't, 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 bitch. Hey, 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 thank you for joining me on the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. This is your proud host, August Crenshaw, a.k.a. Mrs. Raw, Real and Relentless. I am the number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs because building mental muscle is necessary in order to implement successful business strategies. This show has been created for the woman who is not excuse driven and needs help building a profitable business. I will be interviewing women from various fields who are willing to break the silence on struggles that specifically affect female entrepreneurs. Welcome to a show where I and guest speakers from time to time share our methods that help us beast our business no matter what is going on in our lives. Whether you are an online or brick and mortar business owner, this show is for you. We will hit every angle, personal, professional, and spiritual. Why? Because on any given day, you get hit with shit from a scenario involving one, more, or perhaps all of the above. It all impacts you and your mindset towards your business. I have made it my personal mission to provide a space where we dive deep into the BS we face on a day-to-day basis. What's up, y'all? This is the first podcast episode of 2021. And yes, if anything, we need to be talking about walking in the true essence of our worth. And so I want to talk to you guys a little bit. This podcast episode is stimulated by a question that was asked of me in a mastermind group that I'm a part of. And so, you know, we were reporting our wins and I was just talking about the success of, you know, my summit. And one of the most beautiful things that I was able to do was literally structure out my entire year. And I know a lot of you, you want to do that. And some of you maybe even tell people that you've done that. But it's kind of like a little fairy tale. You're like, okay, so I'm going to have this course and I'm going to launch it in March. March, And then I'm going to roll these people into this program. And and then I'm going to relaunch that course again. And you may not have even had a successful launch yet. So I know for some of you, you're trying to figure this thing out. Well, anyway, the individual that was listening to me, they were like, wow. So how did you get to the point that you were able to schedule out a full year? And I also have yearly contracts because I was talking about how these next set of people that I'm working with that are in a short term workshop, I'm going to offer them contracts and the contracts are for one year. So that'll put my income into 2022. And so they were like, wow, okay, so what also got you to settle in and the fact that you're going to do year long contracts and so on and so forth. And so the bottom line is, is that many of you can hear what I'm saying and be like, yep, that's exactly what I need to do. When people come and work with me, I need to make sure they work with me for one year because I need to make sure I'm solidifying my income for an entire year. Mm, that can't be the reason why you do it. And so I'm going to explain the same thing to you that I explained to the group. Number one, I remember when I used to try to map out an entire year and it was extremely stressful. I didn't even know what I was going to offer. The only thing I did and I got, you know, semi good response for was my fat master Facebook live boot camp. And I had just recently started a Facebook group and I had one-to-one clients, but I had no real structure. I hadn't seen any patterns in my business yet. And so I was like trying to map stuff out. And of course, I went haywire. I did some of everything else other than, but I didn't have the, I didn't reach the projections that I put out. My, My schedule didn't go the way that I planned, but I tried, you know, but at least I tried. And I do think that it's important to at least attempt 
to visualize what's possible in your business for an entire year. Because if you're thinking along those lines, eventually something's going to click. And that's what happened for me. It, it clicked. I began to truly reflect on the pattern. So what's been happening for me is every single year I've been able to map out more and more of my schedule. Like there are signature offers that I know that I'm going to put out there. For instance, I know that after I do the Business Mastery Summit, I am going to funnel people in to fix my business. I know that after I do the In Authentic Collective Summit, the last one's theme was No More Trauma, that I'm going to funnel people into my group, group coaching program and also secure one-to-one clients. I already know that. Well, that was at least... That at least helped me be able to say, this is what's going to happen in the spring. This is what will happen in the winter. You know, I was, I at least was able to map out something, right? Well, the more and more I did this every year, I began to realize, okay, what's going to be the stuff that happens in the middle? And I'm like, okay, you know what? I can do this at this time of the year leading up to the summit. Then there's the summit. This is what I'll funnel people into. Matter of fact, I can spider it out and I can have people either go this way, that way, or that way, depending on their level of commitment and needs. Then I know in the summertime, this this summit will come back up again because I'm really big on lead generation in this season of my business and you know and I could just see it and I was able to flush it out so it didn't happen overnight I'm able to see what happens with people well the other thing is is I've recognized the patterns of what happens when people work with me and I remember when I first launched my group coaching program I was like you know you can come and go as you please you know you sign up and you know, if things, you know, you don't like it, you realize it's not for you, then you can leave. And what would happen is most of the people that left would end up dealing with some type of financial crisis. Now, I ain't trying to sound judgy, but back then I just charged a hundred dollars flat when I first started my group. And it's like, man, please, you, as soon as you got in here and you got a breakthrough, Then a trial came, and instead of you saying, I'm going to generate the money through my business, because trust me, I was giving my people solid game, or I'm going to hold on to the faith, and I'm going to push through this adversity, they'd be like, well... August, you didn't gave me so much, I could try to use what you gave me and, you know, keep on going. And, of course, I watched a lot of those individuals fall by the wayside. Mm, Okay. Well, the other thing is, I noticed the people that stuck around, like there's this one assignment that I give every single person that comes into my group. When I give them this assignment to truly clarify their ideal client and get the foundation, which is going to affect how they post, help them modify copy on their website, help them understand how to create better video content that connects the whole nine. Everything spirals from this, even understanding what to put in their emails that people were taking up to about two to three weeks to finish this and really pressing through and I would look and I'd be like okay and the next one isn't as hard they could finish that one you know in three days to a week and I'm like in order for me to do everything I need to do for these people to open up to me give me the information that I need to for things I'm teaching them to finally click them to do their first launches learn from their mistakes you know, implement the strategies, measure the results, go back and, you know, look at it again and re refine and retweet. I'm like, most people don't really see a hardcore stable transformation. Notice the word is stable because people could come into the group. I mean, I was excited. I remember the first time I did the group, there was a woman who couldn't sell anything. And she was only charging $27 for a product that I was like, please just, you know, triple it, you know, go to a hundred. She went to like $88. And as soon as she launched it using the strategy, she had a person immediately, like within two minutes, she's like, oh my God, this has never happened to me. Somebody clicked the link and paid immediately. Somebody else messaged her just to confirm that there would be a recording. And as soon as they found out that it would be, they paid. You know, I'm talking about people getting results, which that alone causes the transformation because it, it, it causes people to have hope and faith. I remember after a few more months of running and then some new people came in, there was a woman who was barely able to bring in $500 a month and she quadrupled her income to bring in $2,000. And, and there are even bigger and greater stories, you know, than that of people that were in worse conditions that reformed their business. But at the end of the day, I'm like, this is what is happening. But 
they would sometimes still get distracted just that fast, you know, two months later. I'm like, come on now, you know what to do. You'd have forgot about your inner power. Get your butt back out there, you know, and, and keep on going. You got this. And they'd be like, right, you're so right. Every time August tells me to do this, it works. And I'm like, yeah, I need you to transform your mind. So you're telling yourself to do it in the future instead of always relying on me. And so I'm like, yeah, to to see the stable transformation where where behaviors are implemented and, and they're stuck to takes a year. And so for me entrepreneurship is not some flash in a pan thing where you try to find you a little coach here, you know, get you a little workshop here, you know, and this there. No, you do that initially, maybe because you're investing, you know, in a lower tier so that you can see how they operate and, you know, whether or not their products and services are for you. You know, you follow them on their social media platforms, you absorb their free content. But then once you have confidence that you know that it's the coach that you're supposed to work with, You've got to be prepared to go in for the long call. And my most successful clients who are still existing and thriving and expanding in their businesses, even though they don't work with me anymore, all of them work with me for a minimum of two years. Now, I'm not going to hook somebody for two years because some, you know, you could get what you need from me in year one and need something else in your business that I don't specialize in. But at the end of the day, if you're going to make the commitment to work with me, you are going to do a year long contract. And so what I was basically explaining to the people is a lot of times when I know I've done it in in the past, I tried to do that, but I wasn't even truly confident that I had the goods to give people what they needed for a year. You guys, I've done so many trainings in groups that I have such a vast library of training material that every entrepreneur needs. I want to say that just giving a random number. If you come into my group, no matter who's coached you or what they've done because of the psychology and mindset work that I also combine with the technical and practical craft, that out of the 20, you're going to need at least 17 of those videos. Maybe three of them you don't really need, but most of the people, they're like, I'm going to watch them anyway, August, because I just love the way you teach and they still get nuggets and epiphanies from them. And so I'm like, yeah, you know, I have to do something that aligns with my mindset and my brand. And I want people to truly be successful. I want to work with people who are in it for the long haul and are committed to what they're doing. And so rather than worry about the price point, oh, my God, you know how some of you are. I don't know if I should put my prices on my website or not because it may discourage people. Well, I don't care Either way, you put it on there, it may discourage some people because the price is too low or because it's too high. But more than anything, that commitment. A lot of people, they're like, "Mm, I don't know, August, about committing for a year. Okay, well, when I invite, when I create another offer or I, I offer something that I already had and it's only five weeks, you do that. You know, when I have a summit, you know, you attend that. And if you can't see my value and you don't realize what you're going to get with working with me and you're not realistic and, and looking yourself in the mirror about the, the true issues you have in your business and where you're going, then you're still not mature enough yet to work with me. And I have literally watched women, you know, take three, six months. Hell, uh, a recent client took over a year and she was like, dang it, I knew last year at this time I should have been working with you. She's like, but I'm not going to miss it this time. It is a very beautiful thing. Uh, to watch her blossom and grow. And so rather than, you know, well, at least even if they just pay month to month, I can get somebody mm -mm, that that's not what I want because in that season of their life, they're also going to be the person that quits. And there's nothing worse than, you know, thinking you were going to get a payment, you know what I'm saying? And you don't. And then you look at your, your bills and you're like, ew, I don't have that money. And so I like predictability, but it's your responsibility to notice the patterns and behaviors of people and what they're looking for and so on and so forth. So at the top of every year, um, I offer the Business Mastery Summit because I know people are, some people are doing their projects at the very, very top of the year because they want to catch those people that have New Year's resolutions. You know, well, I usually always do business mastery around April. And I think it's perfect because by April, people have began to slack on the goals that they set for the beginning of the year. And I'm going to set some fire up under their feet to do otherwise. And then the experience is going to be so phenomenal that I'm going to offer them 
my year long coaching package. And it, I, it happens every time. Some of the speakers end up becoming clients, people that are attendees in the pre party before the event become clients. And then people after the summit become clients. So I don't know what it's going to look like for you, but you need to know your worth. You need to charge your worth. And charging your worth is not just about the dollar value. It's also about the expected commitment so that you can start setting projected goals for your income and say, okay, I know that this is what I'm going to get. So that's why some people can tell you, oh, yeah, this is going to be a six-figure year, multiple six-figure year, blah, 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 because of the way they've mapped things out. And going forward, they always know I need X amount of people in this program. I need X amount of people in my VIP packages. I need X amount of attendees in my events. This is what I've done in the past. This is what works. This is what I keep doing. This is what I need to tweak. You're not supposed to just be, you know, wandering around in the land of entrepreneurship. There's supposed to be some predictability. So let's be very mature in 2021. And if you are not in the place where you can do this stuff that I'm talking about, then be a student of your business. I've been saying it for years. Be a student of your business. Measure everything. Know your numbers. Pay attention to what's going on and walk in your worth. So with that being said, I love you all. This is August Crenshaw. I'm outie. Deuces. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to cultivate a mindset that is biased towards taking action. No bitching, whining, or complaining. Here, our mantra is, real women don't bitch, we get shit done. See you next week as I continue to bring you what you need to keep your head in the game and beast your business. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Would you like a specific topic covered? Have a question you would like answered live? Then head on over to realwomendon'tbitchpodcast.com. Subscribe to my email list, hit me up, and I got you. Interested in being a guest speaker? You walk the walk, then you can sign up on the website too. This is your number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs, Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless, signing out. Deuces! Inspire, empower, grab your girls and soul.